Now we come to the fifth envelope, uh, one E, uh, where you will have all kinds of curvilinear figures. Um, let's start with the first one, one E one, the curvilinear triangle. The curvilinear triangle each is going to have ten centimeters side. Now let's uh, do the construction for the curvilinear triangle. First, we will. It's very very much like an equilateral triangle. Okay, so let's draw a straight line. Mark a point, and we are going to mark off ten centimeters. Okay. I'm marking my ten centimeters here, but at the same time, I'm also making a curve. Okay. Can you see the curve and darken it a little? Now, with this as center, and again ten centimeters, and make another curve. Can you see it? And here I will place my compass and complete this. This will give me my curvilinear triangle, the outer portion. Okay, so it's like an equilateral triangle. If I join these sides, I'll get an equilateral triangle. But what you have to do is you draw the 10 centimeters and then you mark your arcs and you get your perfect curvilinear triangle. Okay, this is your first curved figure. Now let's look at how we are going to do the rosette. Okay, it's very interesting. We will have to first draw a small triangle. I'm sorry, a, a small square. Okay? So draw it somewhere in the middle. First I draw a straight line and I'm going to mark off five centimeters I'm going to mark off five centimeters because I'm going to construct a square of five centimeters now how do I construct a square I will need to draw 90, you will, I will need to make 90 degrees here and here and then I'll have to mark all the sides as 5, five centimeters, right? All the angles are 90 degrees in a square. So let's mark the 90 degrees for here and for here. And we join this so it gives us the direction with the point pencil here and here and then we draw it here. and now again here we will need to cut off five five centimeters so we'll get a perfect square right join this Once I get my square, what I will do is I will mark on my uh, on my compass. I'll mark two and a half centimeters. Two and a half centimeters should be exactly half of this, right? So let me see if this is exact. Did I get it right? Yes. Okay, check check all of it. Okay, let me check all of these. So mark here, mark it here, and if I mark here, I have to come from here. Yes, and if I mark here, I have to come from here. Now what I do is, so I got the midpoints of each of these. Now I place the compass on those points and I make the arcs.
second. Rosette. So this is how you make your rosette. Okay. So you make a five centimeter square first. This is my five centimeters. Five centimeter square, and then you're going to mark off two point five centimeters. The midpoints, and then you will draw the rosette. Now uh, let's uh, look at how we will draw the oval. Okay. Please pay attention. Mark a straight line. Mark a point. My oval is going to be 10 centimeters long. Okay. So I'm going to mark 10 centimeters here. So this is how long my oval is going to be. Now, as you know, in an oval, you have one bigger portion and one smaller portion, right? So this bigger portion, we are going to make a circle of three centimeters. Okay. So the radius is going to be, let me check. We'll mark three centimeters from here. One, two, three centimeters. So this is going to be three centimeters. Okay, and from here I'm going to mark one and a half centimeter. So this is my one point five centimeters. Okay, now let's take our compass and this is 3 centimeters, right? So I'm going to place this here and come up till here and I'm going to make an arc. Little more than a semicircle, okay? Little, extend it a little more. And this is going to be my 1.5. So I'm going to place it here. 1.5. Now place this compass here and make a arc here. Now you may want to join these bulges uh, with a straight line. Very light, okay, very light line to give you a guideline. And along this guideline, now you will need to join this. Give it a nice shape. So that this looks like an oval. How do you get your own? Okay, it's the best way I could figure out. Okay, now let's come to ellipse. Ellipse is very similar to oval, but uh, both the ends are the same. You don't have a, a pointed end like you have in the oval. Make a straight line. We want a 10 centimeter over uh, ellipse also. So let's mark 10 centimeters here first. Okay, so this is 10 centimeters. Now on either side, I will mark two and a half centimeters. One, two, two and a half. One, two, two and a half. And I will make semicircles of two and a half on either side. Another thing that you will need to do is 
to give a nice shape a reference to the shape you mark the midpoint of the of the of your ellipse this is 10 centimeters so mark it at 5 and at 5 you draw a perpendicular now how are you going to draw the perpendicular is up to you I'm approximately drawing a perpendicular okay so I have drawn the perpendicular along this now I'm going to mark out 3.3 that's what I figured out that's giving me a nice oval shape nice shape to my ellipse so I'm going to mark 3.3 approximately 3.3 is what gave me a nice shape Now I join along this line and both the curves. And this gives me a perfect ellipse. Okay, so that's how you get your ellipse. So this is all for your geometry cards. I'm sure you can do this. Just cut it out on your blue paper and stick it up on your cards. Okay, this is how you will draw all your geometrical figures. Mama.